Hey everyone, today we're reading Mr. Putter and Tabby Fly the Plane. So, I can't wait this one. This one's going to be a cool one too. Just like Feed the Fish, Make a Wish, and Walk the Dog. If you haven't seen those, go ahead and check those out. So, let's go ahead and get started. Hello there. Oh, wait. hey, it's Golden Thomas from Thomas and Friends. Can I listen to you read this book? Okay, Thomas. So let's go ahead and get started. Mr. Putter and Tabby. Fly the plane. Mr. Putter and Tabby. Fly the plane. Mr. Putter and Tabby. Fly the plane. Here's our chapters. Mr. Putter loves toys. He is old, and he knew he ain't supposed to love toys anymore, but he did. Mr. Putter and his fine, when Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby drove to town, they always stopped by the toy store. Tabby was not happy at the to toy store. She was old too. She was not as, she was not as nervous. She wasn't nervous she wasn't isn't good as she used to be wind ups make her tail tr her t her make her twitch and pop and pop ups make her jump and anything that flew gave her the hiccups but tabby love loves mr putter she, so she pumped pump padded up with all of it she she twitched and jumped and hit up. Mr. Putter played with everything. He played with dump trucks. He played with canes. He played with a bear on a frying trap in. But most of all, he played with planes. Ever since he was a boy, Mr. Putter loved planes. When he was young, he used to have his room covered with bit planes were his favorite. <laughs> but he also loved model planes, seaplanes, and jet... Get off. Get off. Get out of here. You're not welcome in this video. In, in shape, in shiny jet, and jacks. He thought maybe he would really fly a plane one day, but he never did. So now he just looks at, at the toys at every chance he got. One day, Mr. Putter and Tabby were in the toy store. Tabby was getting was hissing at a wind-up penguin. Mr. Putter spotted something he had never seen before. It was a white and red. It was white and red with two wings on each side. It 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 it's it had a little flag of a tail. It it was it it was the most beautiful blimp he have ever seen. He even had a our controller. Some a person really may fly it. Mr. Putter was in love. He he brought he bought the plane and put it in the car with Tabby. He t he told her not to worry. He promised he promised to make a nice cup of tea and with lots of cream and warm English muffins. She hiccuped up all the way home. Mr. Putter kept his promise. Mmm, cheese, I'm going to eat that. Okay, Thomas, but make sure to be listening to that story. M Mr. Putter kept his promise. He gave Tabby tea with cream and and warm English muffins. Together, then together they went outside to fly his new plane. Tabby stopped hiccuping because she only was full of tea. She did not like Mr. Putter's plane. Mr. Putter sat on the grass and read the directions. The, he put the plane on the grass and stepped back. He pressed the start button, but the plane did not start. It just rolled over and died. Tabby Pearl. Mr. Putter went to the little plane. 
He said it right again. He told it to be a good little plane. He stepped back. He pressed the start button. The plane did not start. It fell over the nose and died. Tabby purred and purred. Mr. Puddler ran to the plane and brushed the dirt off its nose. It told it to be a brave plane. He stepped he stepped back. He pressed the start button, but the plane did not start. One of its wings fell off and it died. Tabby purred, purred, and purred. Poor Mr. Putter, he was so sad. He he was so, he was so sad. He picked up his little blimp plane. He told it it's all it's all his fault. He told it he was an old man and he shouldn't got the and an old man shouldn't have toys anyways. He 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 said he said it was a it wasn't good fl- flying a plane. Tabby watched Mr. Puddler. He could see he was sad. He, then he felt sad too. Mr. Puddler Tabby went to Mr. Puddler and rubbed in itself against his legs. He sat on his shoulders and by his, by, by his, and he licked his nose. This made Mr. Puddler feel better. He decided to try again. The f- he, he, he fixed the wings. He set the little plane on the grass. He told it he, he, he and Tabby knew you could be the best plane in the world. Then he pressed the start button. The plane choked. The plane coughed. The plane giggled. But the plane did not die. It warmed up and slowly sounded better. Then slowly and slowly it was, it flew across the class and picked up speed. It flew. It flew in the blue sky. Mr. Puddler cheered. Tabby purred and hicked up. The flame... Mr. Puddler was flying a plane of his own. Every day for a few, for many weeks, Mr. Puddler fl- and Tabby flew the little pl- bit plane. Tabby ne- never hicked up anymore because sh- she become used to flying things. Children came from town. They heard about the plane. They they came to a field to watch it fly. Mr. Puddler loved. Well, Mr. Putter loved this. He liked having the company. He liked letting Charles take in turns flying the plane, and he he felt like a proud grandpa. One boy was the best of all. He he was a little shy, a little clumsy, and a little thankful, just like Mr. Putter. But whatever the boy flew Mr. Putter's plane, he wasn't shy, clumsy, or or fear or fearful, he was strong, sh- sure, and happy. When Mr. Putter saw this, he remembered himself as a boy. He remembered how he wanted to fly a pl- how he wanted to fly a pl- how he plane really wanted to fly. He remembered he would stay up. He would uh remember laying awake every night wishing for one. Now Mr. Putter has now Mr. Putter has a plane, but he was old. He didn't really need it that much. He had Tabby, and that's everything he needed. So one day the, he gave the little bit plane to a to the shy, clumsy, and, and the boy. The boy became a hero, almost like the other childs. And Mr. Putter went. Mr. Putter and Tabby went back. They ate tea and, and muffins and trimmed some, made some rose. Their morning nap and their afternoon pudding and some and some of the things they work together and they walk together. A a little bit playing a flew above their heads. D and man, man, that was just a good story. I just really like that story. That's a really nice story, Thomas. I'm I like it too. It's nice that you. It's nice that he gives away his plane, right? Yeah, that's pretty true. That that cheese was yummy. 
Anyways, we had fun, but there was only one thing to say. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, you got to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Meow, meow.